What's up guys, it's the Drill Simon Carroll Walks here and today we're back with another video. Before we get into this, make sure you drop us a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button to keep up with all the content dropping. And we hit 30k. I'm grateful to you lot for helping us get there. You get me? We're on a journey. We're on the road to 50 now. We're trying to get that by the end of the year, which I think we will. Another four months definitely should hit that 50k. You lot said do a producer Q&A. You lot wanted to know some questions. You get me? So I put I threw it up on my YouTube and my Instagram. And yeah, man, I'm just going to go through it and answer the question. Underscore Samuel. 07 on Instagram says, How do you get beats from producers like M1 or Sax? They've either got to rate you, meaning you're putting in work at the moment, or you got to pay them. It's easier probably to pay. It's like, but don't waste their time in it. You know, you're going to have to pay like upwards of a bill, at least. I don't know their prices, but it's going to be something like that. Cant7 on Instagram says, What equipment do you need to start making beats? We need headphones, good headphones, um, probably going to set you back. Maybe a bill and FL Studio. If you've got Windows, most people start off with a cracked version. I did happen you get me when you make enough pee from what you're doing you can invest it in the proper version you feel me at underscore archie collins says is it worth buying a really good software and what software do you use i bought my fl studio logic came on my mac so i already had that but i bought my fl studio the signature edition if you are in school or whatever there's an academic edition you could buy which is cheaper than the actual edition and i was in enrolled at the time that i did buy it still at david.ra says placements and which plugins i don't know what you mean by placements how do you get placements um how i do it is different to other artists like obviously what i do on youtube helps in it i've got a certain level of clout that makes it beneficial for artists to use man's beats you feel me like you've always got to bring something to the table or you've got to find an artist that you believe in and work with them car too many people just want to work with a big name artist just for their own gain and when there's that relationship where you're both trying to get the best deal for yourself or you're both in it for your own selfish intentions it doesn't really work out j.war99 says what fl packs do you use i don't use any fl packs literally if you watch my behind the beats you'll see what packs I use stuff like MK the plug, big white beats, um, G8, Ghosties old kit, 808 Mellow sample good kit, CRKZ's kit. There's very different things that man use. At prod.rockybeats says, when it comes to leveling 808s and kicks, what's the preferred range? There's no right or wrong answer to that still. <laughs> There's literally no right or wrong answer to that. Go on YouTube tutorials, have a look at that. Places like Recording Revolution, Pensado's Place, Internet Money, they've all got tutorials on how you can do that. At 27JDT says, what to do when on beat block? I get beat block regularly and I just don't make beats. <laughs> so for this year, I'm probably on like 53 beats and yeah. Yeah, Ghosties on 33 for the month and that was on the 8th of August. You can see the levels and work rate. I don't work very hard in terms of producing. I usually just watch like tutorials, studio sessions. Like there's a channel called Freak that posts bury these producers, Zaytoven and all of that. They're in the studio playing beats. I just watch certain things like that, man. I like to watch them type of vlogs there. At prod.rockybeats also says, what are the best ways of reaching placements? One thing that worked for me, it might not work for everybody. I'm a person that I work on relationships, you feel me? But one thing that came of me not actually going through a relationship, where well it kind of was, but someone I didn't really know like that, was the collab with Digger. Obviously, yeah, the double tap days when I made it, I posted a clip on my Insta story and I put that little question thing that I'm actually using for this Q&A at the moment. And I said, who do you think this would suit? And every time someone would give the answer, I'd put the preview in the background and also tag the eyes. And someone said Digger. So in a roundabout way, that's how the double tap days came about. So that could be a way. Obviously, there's YouTube. One thing I'm seeing producers do at the moment is when a song comes out that's bubbling let's say that OFB JS real tug thing just came out someone would put OFB JS real tug type beat that would get some attention because right now it's number 37 on trending and that's just the kind of way I see people making beats like Air Force Remix, Krepton Conan, K-Trap, dig that type beat that's some of the shit I see people doing and I think it's smart at prod.loopfly also says what do you think of sampling and what do you think of loops before i made you i was doing sample hip-hop still before that i was doing trap but i like the sampling thing still in terms of loops each to their own i don't do it i might try it one day but i don't do it at one point in time i thought it was cheating but that's basically the same type of thing as samples you get me like sampling back in the day people used to cut up drum loops from already made songs and then get a melody from another song and put them together and that's how they made their beats so loops have always been a thing 
you want to use it you want to use it as long as it gets the placement what a producer thinks doesn't matter at connor coil 18 says what laptop do you use i've got a macbook pro 2017 i7 and i've got a razor blade 15 2018 version and i think that's an i7 as well at underscore young dot sav says what did you do to make it this far and be working with big artists like ko for example i did youtube i took a roundabout way to get into the industry you feel me it didn't start off because i was producing it started off as a way to promote the mandem but it turned into this and yeah the youtube thing is why man is where i am today still without that i probably wouldn't have half the placements i have all the relationships i have in it get me at 17.beat says tips on mastering slash mixing vocals that's trial and error still one thing i will say if you're eqing make sure you boost and sweep if you don't know what that is just type it on youtube just find frequencies that you don't like and remove them really you don't really want to be adding too much volume to certain frequencies you want to take away more than you add he also asks how to expand your fan base and get your music known youtube's your best place support get support in it so just support your artists your local artists the ones you rate you believe in don't just reach out to big producers you get me frosty australia says what's the difference between mixing and mastering mixing is basically leveling and eqing each individual sounds mastering is basically doing that for the whole track once you or the whole beat once everything's been done to correct any minor mistakes or anything you want to pronounce or enunciate once you've done the mix Reflaus asks, is there a mobile app for producing beats? If yes, please tell. Uh, there's Garage Band on Apple. I wouldn't say I recommend it. Russian says, how do you promote your beats? Like, do you send them to artists? Rarely. I only send beats to artists man's got a relationship with really most of the time. I post some on YouTube, but apart from that, it's if I got a relationship with you, then you can get some of the beats that man's got. Errol 404 says, what's your favorite beat you've made? I don't know. It used to be the Death Note beat, but I'm not too sure if it is that anymore because there's there's quite a few ones man there's some unreleased ones that i've made that are fa my favorite now frosty beat says what is your favorite part of making a beat the 808 slides man chin 2 or 13 says how to sort out legalities and leasing beats i don't lease beats obviously you can go by verbal agreements and that put your terms in an email and send it to someone but i don't sell beats vortex masala says how can i establish connections to artists or communicate with them properly supporting them man that's what i did i supported artists and through that people that raw like you've been supporting my thing love man i didn't even know you made beats so let me hear some you get me chintua also asks would you discourage aspiring producers from doing exclusive licenses if so why no i wouldn't labels require exclusive licenses for the most part so no i wouldn't uh i would just say make sure you ask for a percentage so take less money up front and ask for a percentage sid stanmore says what apple website did you first start making beats on fl studio free loops free back in the day zella says is there any time at which you ask for a percentage instead of a fixed price if i got a relationship with you i'll do that if not i'll ask for both ish seven says is your channel just going to be about drill music reactions in future i do plenty of things on the channel such as videos like this um behind the beat videos parody videos vlogs from time to time prod by mikey joe says how should producers price their beats of course only a rough guide because some people have no idea go to your favorite producers gotcha ghosty whatever look at their bio see what they charge people for beats for leases and exclusives and then if you're not really a name half it maybe or just be less than that in it ryan gould says how long have you been producing beats for since i was 10 so 15 years i'm never consistent with it someone that's been producing three years has probably made more beats than i have in 15 filmed uh Reese Bowers says, how did you start producing? The oldest in my area used to produce and yeah, I wanted to be like them, man. So got inspired, didn't it? TDX KX Lane X. Do you know of any decent cheap 808 and drum kits you can recommend? I don't know how much they are, so I can't recommend any, but there are plenty of drill ones. There's a guy called Yo9, he's got a free drill drum kit and his one's called Go Get That. Oh no, no O oh says, what kit do you use and what do you use to mix it? There's many kits, man. Watch my behind the beats. Obviously, you got to have EQs on there. Depends on what sound you're mixing. It's a broad question and there's plenty of different things, but I use some of the FL stock plugins, some Waves plugins plugins and isotope ozone w beats is what's the easiest way to get a placement there is no easy way but zed cam says do you make beats with an artist in mind to revolve that beat around or do you make the beat and think who it sounds best for after making it and it's the latter i don't ever make a beat with an artist in mind that's very 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 rare i just make my style of beats in it hendon av says where do you get your sound kits from and maybe do a 808 slides for dummies as well i'm not the best at 808 slides so it don't make sense to me doing one and sound kits um from bare different places man 
<laughs> That's too much of a broad question. C Trent says favorite pack or kits. I'd say MK the plugs kits cold and probably the best kit that most producers or the best brand that most producers like is Big White Beats still. He's got some dope kits, like quite a few as well. Josh Magnus says, do you charge people to use your beats? Depends on my relationship with them and if a label is involved, but there's always a percentage involved whether I charge or not. Harrison Jones says, why don't you have your own drill freestyle episodes where you mix the beats? Um, no one ever said I'm an expert at mixing beats still or mixing, or mixing vocals. So there's much better people out there than me. I just know what I like to hear and what I don't, innit? Kishamp VG says, how do you know if producers are producing free, no money beats? Because when it says free on the beat, does it mean no cost? When it says free on the beat, it just means you can't make money off it. You can use it for free, but you can't make money off it. If you want to make money off it, you've got to pay the producer or give the producer a percentage or both. Jam Bass Jam Guitar says, how best to promote your own beats, YouTube? Any advice for mixing to an industry standard? Watch tutorials. I've given you some sites or YouTube channels earlier in this. And and really just listen to beats that have been placed and try emulate it as closely as you can. A lot of people use references in this mixing team. Can you copyright your beats and claim royalties on your beats? Yeah, there's places like AdRev for rights holders, Identify, Repost Network, where you can put your beats up and, and they'll collect the YouTube content ID for you. So if you ever put out any free beats, you can slap it on there um but as for officially copywriting your beats um depends on where you are in the world and uh, as a producer do you need to sign up to any music societies pros if so which ones uh depends on your territory again which means what country you're in uk is prs but you still need to get some in other territories i think there's one called centric which does all the other territories outside of the uk and you're not in a contract with them i don't know how good they are so don't take that as a recommendation but they're are some out there in it gotta do your own research ym says i think my beats are good but i know my mixing isn't should i learn how to mix before putting my beats out there yes you should so uche says is making a drill tune as simple as it sounds it can be simple but it doesn't mean it's going to be good hectic versace 17 says how do you start a drill beat eg drums first melody first i'm usually melody first still he also says how do you start for new producers new tips and stuff for those who have no idea like me i started and i was like what the fuck how do i even put a producer tag in tutorials how many websites are there on and youtube pages are there you can find out easily just take your time and don't rush it david r placements and go-to plugins what do you mean by placements fam you should have known better before you asked this question but go-to plugins omnisphere nexus addictive keys prod by mikey joe says what is on your master channel do you give beats headroom or do you just level them to be loud already a master channel or has got ozone on there which is a mastering plugin uh so no i don't leave headroom on my beats you're meant to but but in this day and age the engineer is just gonna lower your beat or eq it a little bit anyway which is kind of like mastering so in this urban scene at the up and coming level i don't think it's important felix o3 says do you think logic x is good enough to make it in the music industry yes it is a lot of people use logic x definitely that pro tools that Ableton, FL Studio, Reason, all good enough. Triggs Beat says, do you believe location can play a part in your success as a producer as making connections is harder? I don't know. I don't really conversate with people like that unless they chat to me still. Nico LH says, how to get in touch with engineers, people to mix your beats. Mix your beats yourself. It's going to be too expensive for you to go to engineers for every single beat. Jezza28 says, what are the things you wish you knew before getting into producing? Uh, a lot, man. Mixing um business knowledge bare different things man yeah man i've been recording for almost 30 minutes for this i hope you lot enjoyed and i've answered the questions that you needed to know i just hope it wasn't boring in it you get me I hope i gave you lot the knowledge and done what i needed to do on my end but yeah man don't forget to like and subscribe make sure you're hitting the bell notification button to keep up all the content dropping share this up on your social media get all your friends to subscribe i've been walking out peace and love